The text to column feature will break up phrases or groups of words in a cell into their own separate cells. So for example, we've got the full names here, and if I want to break them up, so last names are in one column of data, or you know, their own separate cells for each name. And then the first name in this column, well, I can't put it in this column because it'll overwrite their social security numbers. So what I need to do is to come up here and right click on the column header, letter C, right click on it. And in the shortcut menu, left click on insert, it pushes it over. So that way it doesn't overwrite it. Of course, if you want to keep the full name and extract the last name and then the first name, okay, we'd have to insert another column so I don't overwrite that with their first name, but it's your flavor. I'm going to do it this way where I just have their last names here and the first names here. So to go ahead and start using the text to column feature, the first thing you need to do is to select the range of data that you want to break up. And I got their names here. So come up here, click on the data tab, go to the data tools group, and it's right there, text to columns. Go ahead and click on it. Opens up a wizard. It's going to ask us a bunch of questions based upon our answers. Hopefully we get what we're looking for, the perfect extraction process. First of all, it says what file type best describes your data. Is the data within the selection separated by a character known as a delimiter, or is it going to be fixed? In other words, if it's fixed, you can select it, and you can say you just want the first three letters of everybody's last name to be in one column, and then everything else in another column. So to set this fixed width, go ahead and click Next, and then down below on the horizontal ruler, go ahead and click on one of those tick marks, and it pops in a line that says, okay, it's going to be right here. So you can see the first three letters of your last name is going to be one column, and then everything else is going to be in another. And you can hover over that teeny tiny little thing and drag it around if you like, but I'm not going to do that. Let's hit back. It's going to be a character. And what's that character? It's a comma. Let's go ahead and click Next, and it says, okay, here's the delimiters. Which one is it? By default, it chooses the tab, but we're like, no, it's going to be a comma. Now down below, watch the data preview. When I come up here and I check comma, updates it, and oh, isn't that beautiful? Replace the comma with a line except we have a space to the right-hand side of the comma or the line. Well, you see over here, it's to the right of the comma. Here, it updates it, shows it, it's also to the right of the line. So to get rid of the space to say that's another delimiter that we don't want to include in the extraction, then go ahead and check space, and it collapses it. So when it extracts the first name, it's not going to have a space, then their first name. The name will be right up against the left side of the border of the cell. And you can leave tab checked. It's not going to hurt anything. It's up to you. Let's go ahead and click Next. And then it says, okay, what's the data format for this column or that column? If this one is something other than general, you want it to be text or a date, then go ahead and choose that. Or you don't have to import it all together. Just say, don't import. And it says, skip. So when you click Finish, the first name is obliterated. You just get the last name, but we're not going to do that. Let's go back to General. And before we go ahead and click Finish, notice the destination is cell B5. Okay, let's come over here. There's column B, row 5. So you see what's going to happen? It's going to take the last name and dump it into B5 and go all the way down. And then the next column just goes right next to it, C5, and dumps it right there. So it's going to overwrite this. If you do not want to overwrite that cell with the updates, then you can come over here. Well, click in the destination. And you can choose over here. Then I'll go ahead and dump the last names and the first names. So it's going to overwrite social security number, and I don't want it to do that. So let's go back to B5. And you ready? Let's go ahead and click Finish. Hey, that was fun. Okay, so we got the last name, so we may want to go ahead and update this and say it's last. And then first. Hit Enter. Fabulous. Now you're probably asking, couldn't I just go ahead and do the flash field where, well, I'd have to hit Undo a couple of times, right? And then just type in their first name of Max, if I want his first name here, and then Bob. And then go ahead and type in Danny. And if it's not doing flash fill, then just go ahead and do Control E to fill in the rest as a shortcut. Well, you can do flash fill, but it really depends upon the structure of your database. Because notice, once I go ahead and extract it, which is going to be faster, the flash fill. Because then if I want to come back in here and delete all their first names, oh, that's a mess. So it depends. I'm going to go ahead and hit undo several times. And we're back to where we started. It's like this video never happened. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.